we were notified uh, an hour or so ago that Chris Henry died this morning in Charlotte at 6.30. He was good at what he did as a player. Uh, he was excellent. And he was a teammate to our players. He was a friend to almost all of us in the building down here. We knew him in a different way than his public persona. He was soft-spoken, pleasant, comfortable to be around. We liked him. He had worked through troubles in his life and had uh, finally seemingly reached the point where everything was going to blossom and he was going to have the future that we all wanted for him and he wanted for himself. And then this tragedy cut him down. It's painful to us. We feel it in our hearts and we will miss him. Uh, Marvin? I think the thing that uh, I think most uh, of the players and uh, everybody and uh, Chris and what he was able to do this year and watching him mature uh, as a person, as a, as a father uh, to his kids, uh, as somebody that uh, communicated, uh, I think, around here on a different level and uh, really was uh, uh, a pleasing to see. And I think that's what, uh, you know, for our football team, what they're feeling uh, yesterday and this morning is, is the fact that they've watched uh, Chris, particularly the guys that were here when Chris was drafted and have grown up with Chris so either in the, the room or on that side of the ball, etc., or observed him from afar. Uh, they've watched a guy uh, mature as a young man and, uh, and work through adversity um, and, and kind of come out of it and, and, and be a beacon of hope uh, for other people. And uh, so that's the, it's the very difficult thing. Um, uh, with his loss and in, in, a, in a young life that uh, won't ever get to to reach the, the full his full potential, and it's a shame. Where uh, our prayers are with his family, his mom, his brother, his children, uh, as they deal with his loss, and uh, and I think our guys today, and, and obviously the solemn mood that we have around here. Uh, we don't know uh, details about what the plans are for his funeral. Uh, when we get the information, we'll release it. If you have questions of Marvin, take them. Coach, this has been a tough year all the way around with uh, Coach Herman's wife, Tsunami, with some of the players' uh, attention focused play, uh, and then this tragedy. How do you refocus? How do you focus a team that refocuses it? Still managed to get a nine and four record out of it. Well, I, I think the thing about it is, and and uh, the the true sense of the word where professional is, is with everything going on around you and so forth. Uh, as a professional, you have a job to do, and, uh, and and that's part of it. And that's just what we have to rely upon. We have to rely on the strength of each other, and collectively as a football team, and uh, and that the the professionalism of the team uh, went out and, and come to the top. How did you break the news to the players, and can you describe what that moment was like? Uh, you know, I I spoke with the players a couple of times today, and really what I say, as I many times I say to the players, is basically what I say to the players. So that'll that's uh, between us. Sometimes the best 